Songs are stories, and they impart many, many things. Today, the focus is going to be in Olelo Noel, Ika Olelo Keola, Ika Olelo Kamate, and Pono, and Ho'o Pono Pono, and their importance and value for all of us today. Kaino o ki ia mele, o ia hoi o pele ai la au. The name of today's mele is pele ai la au. A ho lohe mai o kau, a ho o nenea i ki ia mele, a me ki ia mo o o lelo. O pele ai la au. E kupuna ho ie, e kupuna ka hiko hiko, o ke ahi mahalama lama, e mahalama ka koe. Me ka oia i ono, ka mo'o o lelo o pele, ka vahine o ke ahi, e o Aka inoa o pele O pele ai la au E kupuna Hawaii i ho ie E kupuna ka hiko hiko O ke ahi mala malama E malama ka koe Me ka oia i ono Ka mo o lelo o pele Ka vahine o ke ahi E o la ka inoa o pele O ke ka hunua o pele Ka ohi a kumakua Ku i ke alo o pele Aila au ho ie, ulu me ka mahi e hie, ke ahi lapa, lapa o pele. Hie, hie, kalehua ho poe, haena me ka mahala malama, e o aka inoa o pele. Ka ohi aku makua, aku ike alo o pele. O aila au ho ie, ulu me ka mahi e hie, ke ahi lapa lapa o pele. Ie, ie, kalehua ho poe, haena me ka maha lama lama. E o ka inoa o pele E lua mau ka hua pele Me ke kule ana e malama O ke ahi lapa lapa, lapa lapa i ke ahi Amena o ku uku uku O o ka hi kupuna o ke ahi Hawaii, kahi kohi ko, kahi kohi ko, o pele ai la au, o kapono, a me ka pololei, e o la ka inoa, o pele. E lua mau ka hua pele, me ke kule ana e malama. O ke ahi lapa lapa, lapa lapa i ke ahi Amena o pu, uku uku O ka hi kupuna o ke ahi O Hawaii i ka hi ko hi ko Ka hi ko hi ko o pele ai la au O ka pono a me ka pololei 
Many other names of Pele, Ke ia akua wahine o Hawaii inei, Ke ia akua wahine o Keahi o Hawaii inei, Ke ia wahine o Keahi lapalapa o hale ma'umba'u i kilauea Hawaii i. Ma'amu o kono noho wana o kelamoko o Hawaii i, Hawaii i nui a Keawe, noho ke ia kupuna wahine ma'o ahu, maka ahu pua'o o hee ia kono noho iwa i. Nui no na mo o lelo pili pono no me ki ia akua wahine, a e ia ke kahi e pili ana ki ia inoa o pele ai la au. So, you know, before the fire goddess Pele made her move to the big island of Hawaii, Pele lived here on the island of Oahu in the district, the Ahupua'a of Heeia. So we have, of course, many, many stories of Pele and her ohana hiiaka a uh, me uh, uh, kaohelo a uh, me vailani a uh, me malulani. These were, of course, the sisters of Pele at that time when they were uh, making their residence in Heeia. So when you come to Heeia, that place that they call Kaneohebe, um, that's part of Koamoku Moku Oheheia. And that bay is really an old volcano, and the correct name is Kalaio Malulani, because that was left behind when they would navigate Neakunola Ko. Uh, at that time, you see? So when you come and you stand at Kalayo Kealohi and you look out to Pu'u Hawaii Loa, you can see this beautiful ancient crater. And a part of that crater is Kapapa Ialaka, and then we have Ahualaka, and then we have uh, Moku Kekepa, we have the Moku Manu. These are all a great part of the Ahupua of Heia, but they all have a great part in the story of Pele and Hiiaka and their eventual move or navigation. Kanawe anono o lako ikela aina Hawaii moku o keave. But today, we're going to talk about this Pele Aila Au story. And part of that story, of course, is part of the Ike, the wisdom the no'eau, the skill of the kupuna of he'eia. And they are the ones to share this story. And please, no ai hue mai mo'o olelo, no steal my story. Ina makamaka oe e ho'olohe, e ho'olohe mai meka pono. If you like, listen. Listen with the proper order. Ina makamaka oe e ho'okuli, ah, ho'okuli meko make make. And if you know, like, listen, well, do as you please. But, ike aku ike mai, when the kupuna share the ike, you have responsibility, if you could tell the ike that the kupuna went share with you, to mention the kupuna's name. And that's what I mean when I say, mai ai hue ike mo o olelo. No steal the story, because it's not your story. Today is July 13th, beautiful day, and the day I'm going to tell this story, the first day you're going to hear this story. So, my aihui ikamo olelo, ike aku ike mai, right? 
and then mahalo aku mahala mai, mahalo mai, right? And then aloha aku aloha mai. Share the wisdom <coughs> that comes from the kupuna in the mo'olelo. But don't forget to share the name of that kupuna. And that's how the legacy of the mo'olelo, like a mo'okuauhau, continues. Because you have to name, oh, kane ke kane, o vahine ka vahine. O kane hulihonua ke kane, o ke aka hulilani ka vahine. O ke keki ala ua o yeho io ka papa ialaka. Same with the mo'o olelo. You can tell the name of who and tell the mo'o olelo. O ke ia mo'o olelo i hai ia mai na kawaho no o ke ia kupuna o yeho io ka vahi kapo o kalani. Ke ia mo'o olelo na uno i haku aku ai hai aku ai ia oko. See, the mo'o olelo came from ka vahi kapo o kalani. And this is the mo'o olelo I can tell. But as I said earlier, you like believe, believe. If you don't like believe, that's your choice. That's just the way it is. So Pele Aila Au, that is the name of Pele and in uh, what we call an epithet. Now, the epithet is what is attached to a name. It is usually a descriptive phrase of the person that is being spoken of. So, Pele, Pele honua mea. Pele, Pele aile hua. Pele, Pele aila au. And these epithet or descriptive references was usually reflective of their character and nature. So when you say Pele aila au, Pele, the forest eater, the eater of trees. Pele ailehua, Pele, the eater of lehua blossoms. Pele honua mea, in reference to her creative attributes in creating new land and new life here in Hawaii. In this mele, I speak about Pele ailaau and how that name is connected to Pele and the Pele traditions. Because there is a lot of talk about Aila Au, who is a Akua, a male Akua. Well, in actuality, Aila Au was a kahu, a caretaker of Pele, her prayers, her rituals, and her ceremonies. That is Aila Au. Pele Ailaau are connected because if you know the story about Ohia and Lehua, if you know the story about Kamapua'a and Pele, if you know the story of Lohiau and Pele, if you know the story of hmm, Paua and Pele, you will slowly begin to understand, and if not, the kupuna are going to tell you, these were not only uh, kahu of Pele, but they eventually became entwined in Ho'oipo'ipo with Pele. And so is the story about Ai La'au, the romances of the fire goddess Pele. Because in truth, uh, Pele, her <clears throat> prime kahu, yeah, the kahu pele were males, the kane. Pele preferred, pre, pele preferred as her kahu, males. And this story will repeat itself over and over again. But this one is with Ailaau. Now, of course, pele had uh, kahu pele kane and kahu pele vahine. Now, the kahu of Pele that were kane, collectively they were called the ahilapalapa. Alapalapa no kavahine Pele. The ahilapalapa, alapalapa no kavahine Pele. They were the brilliant flames and fires that were 
in a sense, the guardians, again, the kahu of Pele. Now, one of the first kahu in this Pele tradition of kahu Pele was Akane, whose name was Ailaau. And Ailaau comes directly from the name of Pele Ailaau, but also, too, to become a kahu of the fire goddess Pele, he already had an ancient relationship with Pele. Now, the kahu that were female for the fire goddess Pele, consecutively they were known as the Opu Uku Uku no Kavahine Pele. The Opu Uku Uku, the small stomach, those that have little consequence and have little importance to, of course, Pele. Well, because her preference was keahi lapalapa a lapalapa no kavahine Pele, her male kahu. Secondly, they were her opu uku uku no kavahine Pele, uh, the small stomachs for the goddess Pele. And, and, and this, is, <clears throat> this is very, very important in understanding the relationship between Pele and, of course, Ailaau. Ailaau was not an Akua. Pele was the Akua. Ailaau was her kahu, her, a kahu <clears throat> that was truly dedicated to, of course, the fire goddess Pele. He was first and foremost. Well. In all her mo'o'olelo, ho'oipo'ipo, you know there's always going to be conflict. And of course, in this relationship, perhaps they had conflict, and perhaps they had disagreement. But the position of kahu is not one that you terminate on your own. Kahu is a inherited position and you're always going to have that position. Therefore, Ailaau was always and will always be the Kahu of Pele. And so it is, because today I'm hearing all kinds of stories about Ailaau. I think we, the Hawaii, forget our own Mo'o'olelo, Mo'o'kuauhau, and our own traditions. And again, if you are not one, that was educated with kupuna ike on these particular matters, then let's be honest and truthful. You should not be the one speaking on these matters because you don't have the ike that was handed down from generation to generation. Maike la hanauna ike kahi hanauna, ka ike ona kupuna, kupuna ike. Ola mauno ka ike ona kupuna, ike la hanauna ike i hanauna. And so, if you want to read one book and you're telling that story, well, <clears throat> then you got them from a book. But if you're getting them no kawahano o kela kupuna ike ia mo'opuna, then you're actually getting it the right way, the correct way, the pono way within our ha, Hawaii, our culture and our tradition that we would inherit from ha loa. Ha loa ke kalo ame kona ha. Buliloa o yaho iyo halua nakalau kapalili, o halau kekalo kahiapo, o halau nakalau kapalili kapo kii. And even that is an epithet. You see, he was named after the characteristic of his brother, the first halua. So they gave and attached to it the second halua nakalau kapalili. And so these epithets are very, very important because. The stories behind them are very, very important. Why the names exist are very, very important. And the names are anointings and blessings upon the bearers of those names. So, Pele Ailaau, Pele Ailehua, Pele Honua Mea, Pele Kawahine Okalua, Pele Kawahine Okeahi. Well, beautiful names to honor 
the Mo'o Olelo, the histories, and the Mo'o Kuauhau of the fire goddess Pele. So let's not disconnect from these porno things, these things that already have an order and a protocol. If you do not know, that's not your authority to make up. It is not. Find someone who knows. Because you know how everybody loves to say, Ika olelo keola, Ika olelo kamake. Well, this would apply directly to you at that point. You see, if you're making up a story, always remember this at one point, Ika olelo keola, Ika olelo kamake. That you are going to end up being your own downfall. So speak with Oya Iko, speak with truth, speak with Ike, wisdom, knowledge, speak with Na'au, speak with enlightenment. The Na'au, your Na'au connects you to the Na'au of your parents, that connects you to the Na'au of your grandparents, your great grandparents, and so on. To our Ki Nohi Ikava Kahiko. And again, these are inherited kuleana that come down from generation to generation. Now, why I caution people from ho'opunipuni, from making things up? I already said ika olelo keola, ika olelo kamake. When you're going to say them wrong, there's going to be an outcome. And according to this olelo no eau, a catastrophe, sickness, <clears throat> maybe even muck it. Because you're telling something that's not connected, not porno, and not part of the oya iyo. <clears throat> Ika ole lo keola. But when you do speak with truth, then that is life. That is healing. That is perpetuity. But when you speak untruth, then I'm going to caution you. And as I said earlier, you don't have to listen to me. But don't say that nobody told you these things. Malamono kako iko kako mawaha i kahai olelo anono. E olelo ka ko ika oya iyo ika oya iyo no keola mai olelo ka ko ika ho opuni puni ika ho opuni puni no kamake. So when you even reflect on these olelo no eo, you can transfer them. Uh, you can translate them literally. But usage, reflection, and intent of those olelo no eo can only come from the person that lived those olelo no eo. So don't say the kupuna never leave that for us. Stop. The truth is in the words. And the kupuna left these words to caution you folks about your olelo. Don't olelo ho'opunipuni. Olelo meka oya iho. So, to expound. To be a kahu, to be a haka, to be a kaula, to be kahuna, you have to be trained. You have to be trained very properly because of the usage of the olelo. That's really, really important. Precision and accuracy of the olelo as it pertains to the many things that are connected, the puleho omaka, the prayer that begins the ceremony, that has to be accurate. The pule kahea, how you call the akua to come in to enter 
and to sit. The pule ho'opau, how you end the ceremony. The colors of the akua that decorate where the ceremony is held. Those colors, as they are associated to words, are very, very important. The food that is offered as a mohai to the akua and how it is offered, that is very, very important. The pono, the order of the ho'omanamana, of those prayers to give the power, that has to be very, very accurate. The kuhilima has to be very, very accurate. In the prayer, there are gestures. The kuhi of the lima, as they are connected to the words of the prayer, the kappa that is presented, the kappa in which these mohai are wrapped in, and the ho'ailona, the decorations that are on the piece of kappa, everything has to be accurate. Ika olelo keola, ika olelo kamake. Do not make up shit. If you don't know, you don't know. And chances are you were not meant to know. Heaven forbid everybody that was born in Hawaii was a kahuna. Everybody in Hawaii that was born was an ali'i. Everybody born was a haka. You know that's not true. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. We all had kuleyana, birthright, inheritance, and responsibility. I ka olelo keola, I ka olelo kamake, reflects the mana of the olelo and why everything has to be absolutely accurate. No room for errors because that error will bring upon a catastrophe or a disaster. That kapu pertaining to those words will be the very same kapu, ika olelo keola, ika olelo kamake. In the language there is life, in the language there is death. When the language <clears throat> of the prayers or any aspect of the ho'omanamana, akua is incorrect there will be outcomes. The punishment, the ho'oponopono, will come from your own akua, ho'omanamana, and your own aumakua. And this is the pono, the order of the kahu, of the kaula, of the haka for ho'omanamana and for noho ceremonies. I learned this from my grandparents from He'eia, my grand uncles and my grand aunts, who up until the advent of the Catholic Church in He'eia, continue to practice these things. But as grandma would say, the kapu, the kanavai of ika olelo keola, ika olelo kamake, was of such grave depth in these ceremonies, they quickly made the change. From the time they used to do the aumakua ceremonies at lai o kealohi, when they went to feed the sharks. You cannot just feed any old shark. 
you have to know which shark in that ocean is pilicoco related to you by blood. You have to know how to call them the right prayers. You have to know where to call them, from which place. You have to know the food that you need to feed them. You have to know how to wrap that food in the proper kappa. You need to know all of these things. They just never do anything without porno, without order. Everything was done with great order. Everything. And this is why today, there is such a need for ho'oponopono with all of these things because people have gone crazy wanting to connect to culture. Let me be honest, you cannot connect to culture if the kupuna are not guiding that connection. You can have conferences, you can have meetings, you can have whatever you like. And this is a failure of our lahui today. The kupuna has to be at the helm. Not the makua, not the opio, and not the keiki. Their time and their day will come when they are kupuna. For now, give the wise enlightened kupuna their role and responsibility. Ika olelo keola, ika olelo kamake. Because everybody else, you just playing house. We, the kupuna, know and understand because we were groomed and raised with those traditions. Oya i ono, oya ho iha. And be careful what you utter, be careful what you say, because your mouth may be the reason why you are dealing with the many challenges and the many catastrophes in your life. Be very, very cautious. Again, that punishment, that ho'oponopono, will be brought upon you by your own akua or your own aumakua. Again, this is the kuleana and the responsibility of the kahu, the kahu pele, the kaula, the kaula pele, the haka, the haka pele. And let me tell you, they live very pious, humble lives. They're not bragging about everything they did on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, or whatever else is out there. They're living their lives in piety, righteousness, porno, porno and ha, ha ha humility. Where did we go from ha ha ha, -ha humility to ho ike ike, show everything off on Facebook? Where did we leave our tradition and come the good citizens of that nation? When? When, when you take hula, the first word you learn is ai ha ha. Eat humility. In everything that you do, everything that you say, rule number one, ai ha ha. Eat humility. So we're talking about ai la au. Eat the wood. Ai lehua. Eat the blossoms. That is kuleyana that belongs to pele. Pele ai honua. Pele honua mea. Pele okeahi. Pele okalua. When did we leave our own tradition of ai ha a, to be humble in everything that we do to become ho ike ike? You learn one thing and rush to put them on Facebook. For likes? Do you have the training? Is that your kuleana? Is that your birthright? Is that your responsibility? 
So that directly ties into what is the haka. Now the haka, the haka pele, is the chosen through birthright person that will serve as the medium of the fire goddess Pele. The Kahu Pele is the Kahu that takes care of the Haka, and the Haka will reveal the Kaula, the messages that would be given by the Akua. So these things are all connected one to the other. They are not separated. So earlier I talked about Aila'au being the first kahu mentioned for the fire goddess Pele. Well, let me talk a little bit about being a kahu for Pele or any akua or being a haka. The haka are always usually males. I said that. I said that earlier in today's lecture and I'm going to say it again. The haka are usually males or luahine, older females who have stopped their menstrual flow and no longer have a menstrual cycle. Only then can they become kahupele, kaulapele, or hakapele. And this is important because blood, any kind of blood, is haumia. Hemea haumia. You cannot do ceremony because blood is defiling of those sacred ceremonies. So usually you will find these uh, luahine becoming at a later age in their lives, they become the kahu and the kaula and the hakapele. Now again, how do I know this? Because being educated by kupuna and grandma's kupuna, kupuna kuakahi, her great grandma was a uh, haka for kapo ulakinau. And of course, grandma went through the rituals and that is my understanding about words, prayers, rituals, colors, foods, place. I mean, there are so many things that one must know to do this kind of ceremony. And again, I'm going to say, this is not for everybody. This kind of tradition is inherited by the blood by the flesh and by the bones. These sacred positions, these titles, are reflected in another Olelo no Eau. Now remember, Ika Olelo Ka Oya Iho in the language is a truth. Nakeakua Kaho Oponopono and the Akua along with the Aumakua, will correct or put them in alignment in the proper order. Ko ke akua ha ia mio. Ko ke kahuna ha ikupua. Ko ke akua ha ia mio. Ko ke akua, uh, kalamai, ko ke kahuna ha ikupua. What does that mean? First of all, I said it, it comes from a lineage. This kuleana is about birthright, lineage, and responsibility. There's more to the word kuleana than just responsibility. That's mea koi koi ohivi. you see. This kind of responsibility comes from lineage, birthright, and the responsibility to the pono of that lineage, birthright, and that tradition whether it be kahu or kaula or haka or kahuna. These are predestined choices and only the akua, only the akua 
can choose these people. The Akua chose that lineage, chose those people, chose that birthright, anointed and blessed them for a specific, specific reason. We don't need to know. We should not want to know. We should not question our Akua, or do we question them? When we do things contrary to the point of the order of Akua, then we are questioning our own Akua. Then ask yourself why we get so many sickness and why we are always lost. Because we don't know the direct connection, the Pilina. Koke Akua Ha'iamio, the gods speak only to those people that shall inherit this birthright. Koke Kahuna Ha'ikupua, those chosen people, the kahuna, the haka, the kaula, the kahu, now have responsibility from the akua to take the messages to the people. And that's why I say earlier, you know like listen, then continue to be deaf and no listen. You can choose to listen, then listen. Listen to the pono, the natural order. So no come to me and tell me, Ailaau is one God, one Akua. Ailaau is an epithet attached to Pele, Pele Ailaau. Ailaau, she gave that title to her first kahu that was known as Aila Au. Her male kahu were all known as the Ahi Lapalapa, the Ahi Lapalapa O Pele. Her female kahu were known as Opu Uku Uku O Pele. And there you go. That's the truth. Don't circumvent or change the destiny that has already been established for these traditions and these people. You cannot do that. No difference than when you circumvent the kuleana of kupuna and you let somebody else do it. Then you're changing our culture and then wonder why we're confused. That confusion is because of our choices. So, getting back to the haka, this lecture can last for, for years. <laughs> I promise you, this lecture can last for years. This is about ho'oponopono and setting things straight. So, as mentioned earlier, that the haka ceremonies are always conducted by male haka and male kahu. The only time the females became haka and kahu, like our kupuna wahine, was in their older years when they were luahine and they had stopped the menstrual flow. This tradition does not happen though overnight. The training, the preparedness starts early on in their lives. If this is your destiny, and the kupuna are the ones that have the ike lihi lihi, the foresight to see that destiny. From a very early age, you will be groomed for those positions. And the minute you come into this world, it has already been predetermined. That comes in the name that you are bestowed with by the Aumakua during the time of your birth. Whether it came through the Ulaleo, whether it came through the Ho'ailona, whether it came through the Moi Uhane, that name will be your mana your authority within the kuleana, the birthright, the lineage, and the responsibilities of being the kahu, 
the Kahuna, the Kaula, or the Haka. Their names are their blessings. Their names anoint them to that Kuleyana, their destinies within those sacred traditions. Naming should always be done by the Kupuna because the Kupuna are the closest link to the Aumakua and the Akua. Their names are their destinies. And if they are given incorrectly, ask yourself why our children are also confused. Never come from Kupuna. Now you may say, oh, we know more Kupuna. Yeah. I think we get plenty Kupuna alive. My mom is 90, I'm 70. You don't know? You don't understand? No make up shit. Go see somebody who knows and understands. Don't make up shit along the way. My ho'opuni puni kakao. Because no kawaha ona kupuna ka oya i ono. The kupuna going to talk in truth. Not every kupuna. The hulu kupuna. The hulu kupuna make a ike, make a no ea, make a na au au. Na na kupuna mai. Kahi ko mai no ke ia mau ike. Ke ia no ea, ke ia na au au. And you know, when the kupuna gone and no can share a ike, no cry. Because at this point, you never took the time to learn. And whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Hmm. Nobody to blame. Only get you. Only get you. So the Akua will choose their representatives on this earth. These chosen people speak on behalf of the Akua. Now, if I speak in half, if I or any other person speaks on behalf of the Akua, trust me, that is a huge responsibility. Because we heard this before the Akua give, the Akua take. You can be the voice of the Akua, you have to speak truth. Now the kahu is the caretaker of the akua. And in this case, Aila'au was the caretaker of Pele. The person who tended to her every need. Hence the Pele Aila'au name. Again, everybody cannot be a kahu. Sorry, truth be told, not everybody is a kahu. That comes with kuleana, birthright lineage and responsibility. So this word kuleana will always forever be connected to birthright and responsibility. My grandma would always say, hey Evie, hey Evie, He i o he i o he koko he koko. These kinds of kuleana connected to the birthright being of the same flesh, of the same bones, of the same blood. You can call it a blessing but also it is a huge responsibility. This happens, and this has been happening for generations, because pili no kako ke kahi ke kahi. Pili no mako me komako mau kupuna, komako mau aumakua, mai kiki no hino, ki ia pilina, you cannot change that. 
maybe in the other side of the coin that that culture they can flip flop all they like our culture and our traditions does not allow us to flip flop so when you are out there flip flopping and you are out there ho'opuni puni yelling Hawaii this and Hawaii that then you've become a good citizen of that lahui so follow them but in our tradition and in our pono that has already been preset there are rules couple laws kanavai that we are born into when we acknowledge with the lahui hawaii that we cannot we can it's not it's not within our realm of things to do that we can change it is the pono that connects us to our kupuna. It is the pono that connects us to our omakua. It is the pono that connects us to our akua. So again, I only have one hour. I'm on the last five minutes. Maybe we can continue this lecture. Mo'o and mo'o olelo. This is Kumu Kawai Kapu Okalani. And I'm here at our beautiful um, Windward Community College. Um, again, Ho'olohe, Ane, Ho'okuli E. You choose if you like listen. You know, I've already be, been accused of a, being an ignorant kupuna when I dared to compare Ahualaka and Kapapa Ialaka to Mauna Kea. But in truth, just so all of you know, that the kupuna of Mauna Kea comes from Heeia or Ahu. That kupuna is Kapapa Ialaka. The kupuna of Puliahu, the kupuna of Waiau the kupuna of Lilinoi, their kupuna comes from Heiia, Kapapa Ialaka. And I will say it over and over and over again, truth is truth. Deny all you like, but truth is truth. So finally, I'm going to say this, but I get so many, many other things to say. These people, that have been chosen by the Akua have a birthmark. They have an ila. That birthmark can be a physical birthmark. That birthmark can be a spiritual birthmark. That birthmark, that ila, can be a mental birthmark. So physically, you'll be able to see the mark if you know how to discern the mark. They're going to have no no opono, and they're going to have au pono. That means, and you watch them closely, they live very peculiar lives. To be pono with your kupuna aumakua and your akua. Everything must reflect that relationship. You have to olelo pono. You have to no ono pono. You have to know the pono of the protocols. You have to know the pono of the heiau and the pule. And you have to always Dress in a manner appropriate to your aumakua and your akua. Act like you are connected to them. Speak like you are connected to them. And always dress appropriately and reflect the best that you can of your akua and your aumakua. And no haumia everything. And no pilau. Oh, lepo, lepo, no, make a peel out, make a haumia. That's not 
That's not what you do. If you're going to be that, then be that. O yeho iha. O yeho ikapono. A mika polo lei. E pile ananoki ia mele. Pele aila au. So people always say, Kavai kapu okaladi huet, right? Simple mele. Well, I'm not even finished with the story, the mo'o olelo of this mele. I only on page two, like 20 pages of the mo'o olelo, the story of the mele, pele aila au. So mahalo nui kako, nako hookumo anano ki ia me alive, my Facebook. Again, e hoolohe ane, e hoekuli e, kou kuhi, a kou kuhi no kela. Listen, no listen, that's your choice. But I will end with singing Pele Aila Au again. Mahalo nui kako, mahalo no kea kua, no koho o vehe vehe anano ki ia mana o pono. Kaho o vehe vehe anano o kapono ana kapolo lei. Ah. I loko no ka olelo ona kupuna ka oya iho. Na kea kua no ka hoa pono pono ona me apau. O pele aila au. He kupuna hawai iho iye. He kupuna ka hiko hiko. O kea hi malama lama. He malama ka ko e. Ka oia i o no, ka mo o o lelo o pele, ka vahine o ke ahi, e o la ka inoa o pele. O pele aila a, e kupuna hawai i ho i e, e kupuna ka hiko hiko. Malama lama e malama katoe me ka oia i o no ka mo o o lelo o pele ka vahine o ke ahi e o la ka inoa o pele o ke kahu mo o pele. Ka ohi aku maku, aku i ke alo o pele, o ai la au ho ie, ulu me ka mahi e hie, ke ahi la pa la pa o pele, ie hie ka lehua ho ko e, ha ena ena me ka mahala malama, e o la ka inoa o, Pele, and ho! O ke kahu mua o pele Ka ohi aku makua Aku i ke alo o pele O ai, la au ho ie Ulu me ka ma hie hie Ke ahi lapa lapa o pele Ie hie ka lehua kopo e Ha ena ena me ka ma lama lama e O la ka inoa o pele E lua just to Mau ka hua pele Me ke kule ana e ma lama O ke ahi lapa 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 i ke ahi A mena o pu uku uku O o ka hi kupuna o ke ahi O Hawaii i kahi ko hiko, kahi ko hiko, o pele ai la au, o kapono ke ia a me ka polo lei. E o la ka inoa o pele, pana ho. E lua mau kahu a pele, me ke kule ana e malama, o ke ahi lapa lapa. Lapa lapa i ke ahi A mena o pu uku uku O kahi kupuna o ke ahi O Hawaii i kahi ko hiko Kahi ko hiko o pele
Ele aila au o kapono ale kapono lei e o ka inoa o pele e o ka inoa o pele and remember this it's always better to say I don't know than to make up a bullshit story. Until we meet again, everybody, aloha ahui ho kako. Na kea kua no, ka ho ola, ka ho maikai, a me ka ho o malu. Na kea kua no, ka mako, aloha nui, maua mau no. Ola no ka inoa o pele. Aloha ahui ho.